find the limit as theta approaches zero of the sine of three theta divided by theta. So for trigonometric limits like this, uh, there's two ways you can do this. One way is to use something called L'Hopital's rule. Now I'm not going to use that here. I'm gonna do it the second way, which is to use some limits that are very commonly known. And here they are. The limit as theta approaches zero of the sine of theta over theta equals one. And the limit as theta approaches zero of the cosine of theta minus one divided by theta equals zero. Now the second one uh, can actually be derived uh, in terms of the first one, but it's probably better to know both of these if you wanna tackle limits like this without using L'Hopital's rule. So the goal is to try and express the given limit in terms of one of these other two limits here. And that just involves a little bit of algebra. So I have the limit as theta approaches zero of the sine of three theta divided by theta. Now I would really like to have the sine of three theta divided by three theta. So what I could do is just multiply top and bottom by three. So then I would have the limit as theta approaches zero of three times the sine of three theta divided by three theta. Now according to limit rules, that constant three can be pulled outside. So I have three times the limit as theta approaches zero of the sine of three theta divided by three theta. And this looks just like the limit as theta approaches zero of sine of theta over theta. It's just we have the threes here, but that doesn't really matter too much because it's still going to act the same way as this limit does here. I could put threes in here and it'll still be the same thing. It'll still be one. So in this case, this is three times one. And that is just three.